Ever wondered what zero gravity feels like? Imagine floating freely, unburdened by earthly constraints. Now, think about your life. What if you could achieve a similar sense of lightness, by quietly eliminating things that weigh you down, mentally and emotionally? Inspired by the teachings of Stoicism, here are 13 things you should quietly remove from your life. By doing so you are bound to feel lighter, more centered and truly free. But, before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update. Also, let us know in the comments what you think about these points, and if there's anything you'd add. Now, let's get started. First on the list is toxic relationships. These are the relationships that drain your energy, cause you anxiety, and generally make you feel worse, rather than better. According to Stoicism, we should focus on what we can control, and we can't control other people's behavior, only our response to it. By quietly distancing yourself from toxic relationships, you're making a powerful statement. Your peace of mind is more important than the chaos others bring. Imagine your mind as a garden, would you let weeds choke your flowers? Of course not, similarly, don't let toxic people take over your mental space. Next, let's talk about unnecessary possessions. Stoics believe in minimalism, the idea that less is more. When you eliminate the clutter in your life, you make room for clarity and tranquility. Think about how many items you own that you never use or even think about. These items take up not just physical space, but mental space as well. By getting rid of what you don't need, you're freeing up room for what truly matters. It's like clearing the cobwebs from your mind, allowing light and air to flow freely. Moving on, let's address the issue of grudges. Holding on to anger and resentment is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to suffer. Stoicism teaches us to let go of grudges because they serve no useful purpose. They only keep you chained to the past, preventing you from moving forward. By releasing grudges, you free yourself from the emotional baggage that weighs you down. It's like cutting loose a heavy anchor that's been dragging you under. Imagine the relief, the lightness, the freedom of unburdening yourself in this way. Next up, is the elimination of constant complaining. Complaining is a habit that reinforces a negative mindset. Instead of focusing on what's wrong, Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control and to cultivate gratitude for what we have. When you stop complaining, you start appreciating. It's as if you've switched on a light in a dark room. The more you practice gratitude, the more you find to be grateful for, creating a positive feedback loop that enriches your life. Now, let's talk about the fear of failure. Fear is a natural emotion, but it becomes problematic when it paralyzes us. Stoicism teaches that failure is not something to be feared, but rather an opportunity for growth and learning. By quietly eliminating the fear of failure, you're giving yourself the freedom to take risks, to try new things, and to grow. Imagine standing on the edge of a cliff, too afraid to jump. Now, imagine taking that leap and realizing you can fly. That's the power of overcoming the fear of failure. Following closely is the habit of comparing yourself to others. Comparison is the thief of joy, and yet it's something we all do. Stoicism teaches that each person's path is unique, and comparison is not only unhelpful, but also unfair to yourself. By eliminating the habit of comparison, you allow yourself to focus on your own journey, your own growth. It's like running a race where the only competitor is yourself. Each step forward is a victory, and each stumble is just a part of your own unique journey. Let's not forget the need for external validation. In a world where social media likes and comments can dictate our self-worth, Stoicism reminds us to seek validation from within. Your value is not determined by others' opinion. By eliminating the need for external validation, you're reclaiming your power. Imagine being a lighthouse, standing tall and shining brightly regardless of the storm around you. That's what it feels like to rely on your own inner validation. Next, consider eliminating excessive screen time. We live in a digital age where screens dominate our lives. While technology has its benefits, it can also be a major source of stress and distraction. Stoicism encourages mindfulness and being present in the moment. By reducing screen time, you're allowing yourself to engage more fully with the world around you. Imagine lifting your eyes from a screen to see a beautiful sunset. The colors, the serenity, the moment. Technology can't replicate that. 
Another important aspect to eliminate is the pursuit of perfection. Perfection is an illusion, an unattainable goal that only leads to frustration and disappointment. Stoicism teaches us to strive for progress, not perfection. By letting go of the need to be perfect, you allow yourself to be human, to make mistakes and to learn from them. Imagine a sculptor chiseling away at a plot of marble. Each chip, each mistake brings them closer to a masterpiece. Perfection isn't the goal, progress is. Let's move on to the elimination of excessive multitasking. In our fast-paced world, multitasking is often seen as a virtue. But science shows that it actually reduces efficiency and increases stress. Stoicism advocates for focusing on one thing at a time, giving it your full attention and effort. By eliminating excessive multitasking, you're improving not just your productivity but also your peace of mind. Imagine a juggler trying to keep too many balls in the air. Eventually, they all come crashing down. Now, imagine focusing on just one ball, mastering it, and then moving on to the next. Next, we have the elimination of blaming others. It's easy to point fingers when things go wrong, but Stoicism teaches us to take responsibility for our own actions and reactions. Blaming others gives away your power and keeps you stuck in a victim mentality. By eliminating this habit, you empower yourself to take control of your life. Imagine steering a ship. If you blame the waves and the wind for your direction, you'll never reach your destination. But if you take the wheel and navigate, you have the power to go wherever you choose. Another essential point is to eliminate the habit of procrastination. We often put off tasks because they seem daunting, but Stoicism teaches us to take action no matter how small the step. Procrastination is a thief of time and a source of stress. By tackling tasks head on, you build momentum and confidence. Imagine standing at the base of a mountain, overwhelmed by its height. Now, imagine taking that first step and then another. Before you know it, you're halfway up. Each step, no matter how small, brings you closer to your goal. Finally, let's talk about eliminating the fear of the unknown. The future is uncertain, and this can be a source of anxiety. Stoicism teaches us to focus on the present moment and to accept uncertainty as a part of life. By letting go of the fear of the unknown, you're freeing yourself to live more fully in the present. Imagine standing at the edge of a dense forest, unsure of what lies ahead. Now, imagine stepping into it, one foot in front of the other, discovering new paths and possibilities. The journey itself becomes the adventure. In conclusion, by quietly eliminating these 13 things from your life, you're embracing the stoic philosophy of focusing on what you can control and letting go of what you can't. This not only brings peace and clarity but also empowers you to live a more fulfilling and meaningful life. So take these lessons to heart and start making changes today. You'll be amazed at the difference it can make. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update, and we'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you agree with these points? Is there anything else you'd add? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, live well and be free.